everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to share with you a few things I picked up at Ulta and TJ Maxx today the first thing is this plastic organizer there's three sections one for cotton swabs cotton balls and cotton rounds and the one with the cotton rounds has a cutout here so you can easily access the cotton rounds in the container so I wanted something like this to keep on my vanity and I thought $11.99 wasn't a bad price. It's really sturdy. Then Ulta was having a sale on a lot of the Ulta Beauty products. And on their brushes, they were two for $15. So these are the two that I picked up. This one is a highlighting brush. And I like this one because it had the real fine bristles on the end that are really soft and it's like the bristles are different lengths so you get more of um i can't get this open there we go you, you can sort of see it there where the white bristles are a little bit longer so it gives you a um more of a diffused look when you're applying highlighter and then this is the retractable kabuki and you just pull the lid off and push this down and then you've got this nice uh, brush that's good for um, buffing out or for blush it's just um it's a denser brush but yet it it has some movement and it's just really 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 soft so i'm really excited to have that so then i picked up a couple of things from yes to coconut and one of them is this moisturizing coconut sleeping mask and there is enough in here to do one sleeping mask it's one application and you just put this all over your face before you go to sleep at night and then rinse it off in the morning and I really like using sleeping mask. Um, I just feel with my dry skin, I need that heavier hydration. And typically with a sleeping mask, you put on all of your normal skincare and then you add this over top. And I really find that they help my dry skin. So I thought I would give that one a try. And then... I picked up the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Ultra Hydrating Overnight Eye Balm. This got good reviews when I looked at it online. And it is um, virgin coconut and argan oils to moisturize the delicate eye area. And you can use this around your whole eye area, it said. And I wanted to see what the container was like because they call this a balm this is what it looks like and then it is just a pump and then there it is pumped out and it's not what I would consider a balm it's much lighter but I think for the eye area that where the skin so delicate it is the perfect texture for using in that area. So the next things I picked up were these Ulta bath fizzes and I got three cents. The first one is coconut cream. Can you tell I like coconut? I love the smell of coconut and it has such moisturizing, hydrating benefits. And then Nectarine Rose. And the last one is Freshwater Mist. Especially in the winter, I take lots of baths. I just like to soak in that hot water. It helps me relax. It loosens up my muscles. If you have fibromyalgia or know anybody who does, you'll probably find that that person loves to take hot baths. So then this is the... Pacific Seven Free Nail Color, and I really like this color. I've said before that I don't wear a lot of fingernail polish because of my job. I'm not allowed to wear it, and it seems 
sort of pointless to put fingernail polish on just to wear over the weekend, though I do it sometimes. But I really like this color. So I just painted my thumbnail, and I really, really like that. I may go ahead and finish painting my nails tonight. And then somebody that I follow on YouTube had recommended the Smith's Rosebud Salve lip balms and there's three in this set for fifteen dollars they normally sell f well it says it's an eighteen dollar value so these are normally six dollars a two so let's see what these are like these are a really good size this one is Minted Rose. This one is Rose and Mandarin. And this is the, I think, the original Rosebud Salve. And I already have the Rosebud Salve that comes in a little tin. And I keep that by my bed at night and use that all the time. But I thought these would be handy. I could keep one at my desk at work, one in my purse, one in the car. So I want to see what the applicator's like. And it has one of those angled applicators with just a little hole in the center. So it smells good. It smells like roses. So if you're sensitive to the smell of roses, you probably won't enjoy those. But I do enjoy the one I have in the tin, so I knew I would enjoy those too. And then the last thing I got was this set. It's Love Your Curls. It is a $56 value. I got it for $9.99. And it has six sample size products for your curly hair. And there they all are to give you an idea of the size. There is by Bedhead. It's called Screw It Curl Hydrating Jelly Oil. That sounds really interesting. And then Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture. And I think I may already have a sample of that that I haven't even tried yet. And then by Matrix, it is the Air Dry Twisted Boho. And from, I don't know how to pronounce this, O-U-I-D-A-D, it is the Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. It's an anti-frizz nanotechnology. And then Living Proof Nourishing Oil. I love hair oils. And... KMS Moist Repair Anti-Breakage Spray. So, I don't know about this anti-breakage spray. Probably not something I would have ever bought. But all of the rest of these sound like items that I would love to try out for my hair. That just seems to get frizzier and frizzier every time I turn around. So, let's get my TJ Maxx bag now. So the first thing I picked up from TJ Maxx is this bamboo tray. This was $3.99. And it is... It's not a huge tray, but I thought it would be good in the bathroom or on my vanity or my dresser to put... Um, items in like deodorant or whatever to group things together make it look a little bit nicer so then these were on clearance these are just stainless steel cups with plastic snap-on lids and i thought these would be great for storing like chopped scallions um putting salsas in to take to work dressings and things like that for two dollars i thought it was a really good deal this was on sale for two dollars also this is the revive cotton facial pads 
and there are 60 in here. Let's see what they look like. I've not bought these before. And they're just square cotton pads. And, of course, they're square, so they won't fit into the round dispenser I just got at Ulta. But they'll still work just fine. But isn't that the way of it? And then in my previous TJ Maxx haul, I picked up some Patchology face mask. And they had been marked down in that haul. And then I found a package at a different store also marked down. These are marked down to $3. And there are four patches in the box. And these are the Flash Mask 5-Minute Facial Sheet. And these are Illuminate Brightens Dull Skin. And I have used one of these out of the last ones I purchased. And I really liked it a lot. So, for four masks for $3 by Patchology, I thought that was a good deal. The only thing that was wrong with it is this box was missing its lid. Then I found this set by NYX. And it comes with the eyeshadow palette and two butter glosses. And this was on sale for $5. It had been $8.99. And I have tried NYX lip products, but I have not tried any of their eyeshadows. And I thought $5 for three items by NYX was a really good deal. So there are the colors. And I don't have very many bright colors in my eyeshadow collection. I tend to stick to neutrals. So, these are really pigmented. So, without spending a lot of money, I can maybe experiment with some brighter colors. And then the lip glosses. These two colors here, which are both colors I would wear. So I'm very happy with that purchase. Then I picked up the Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Repair Dark Circle Correcting Eye Cream. This was also on sale for $3. And I like the Yes to products, the ones that I've tried. And this is a pretty large tube, and I have genetic dark circles, so I'm not quite sure if there's anything out there that will really help those. But for $3, I thought I would give that a try. Then I received, I received a sample from this brand in one of my subscription boxes. And the sample was of the thousand, I think it's thousand and, I think it's the thousand roses moisturizing face cream. And I really like it. Um, it smelled just wonderful. And they had this floral toner by the same brand, Andalou Naturals. Yes, this is the Thousand Roses also Floral Toner with Rose Stem Cells Soothing Resilience for Sensitive Skin. And I don't currently use a toner. And I've been wanting to... Oh gosh, that smells so good. It smells just like that moisturizer. I'm so glad I got that. This... um. I haven't been using a toner, but have been wanting to add one to my routine. You don't have to use a cotton ball and all of that to put it on. You just spray and go. So, happy I bought that. So then I picked up by the Crim Shop this Collagen Overnight Gel Mask. Made in Korea.
and I'm assuming this is like a sleeping mask also. And there's what it looks like. And it says a sleep-in gel mask enriched with collagen and its firming anti-aging properties. Targets deep and fine wrinkles to reveal firm skin. Let's see if it has a smell. This has a light floral scent and it has a, it, it's like a cream, but yet it does have a jelly-like consistency. So I do like that jelly-like texture when I'm putting it on over my regular moisturizer at night. It glides on really easily and um, I think this will be a great item to try. And then the last thing I picked up is by Algenist. It's the Reveal Ultra Shine Anti-Aging Lip Gloss. This was marked down to $3. Found lots of bargains today. And there is what it looks like. And there is the applicator. And there is what it looks like. Pretty glossy. It's rather sticky. Yeah, it's it's pretty sticky. I don't mind a stickier lip gloss, but I know a lot of people don't like that. But I can see it would probably hang on to your lips pretty well and help keep them hydrated. I'll have to um, take a look at it after I've worn it for a while and see if I think it's helped the look and feel texture of my lips. So that was everything that I picked up in my TJ Maxx and Ulta haul today. I thought I found quite a few good bargains and I, I'm a bargain shopper. always look at the things in the clearance aisle, especially at TJ Maxx. Um, always find good deals and then Ulta was having a couple of little sales so I picked up some things from that and am really happy with all my purchases and I want to thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so if you like going to TJ Maxx and seeing what other people buy at TJ Maxx give my video a like and I will see you in the next video. Bye.